Welcome to the BeConsult Learnership Induction. Congratulations on being chosen to be a part of this exciting opportunity. Learnerships play an extremely important role in launching a professional career, and here's to launching yours at BeConsult. Today, in this induction, we will be providing you with a guideline of what the roles within a learnership are, what a course outline is, what the breakdown of your learnership program is, what goes into the building of a POE, what the rules of a POE are, how the POEs are assessed, what's in it for you, who's on our team and a question and answer session. Thank you for having us here. We're excited to start our learnership at BeConsult. Great to have you all here. In this induction, we will be unpacking various aspects of the learnership. Let's start with the roles within a learnership. Research has shown that having a strong support system has many positive benefits for an individual. Here at BeConsult, there are six roles involved in making sure that the learner successfully completes a learnership. These roles are as follows. 1. Learner. As a learner you have the responsibility to attend sessions and complete the POEs which are portfolios of evidence within the stipulated time. 2. The facilitator. I am the facilitator, and my role is to provide you with the knowledge required to complete your POE. 3. The mentor. Mentors are responsible for ensuring that the knowledge acquired is applied in the workplace. 4. The assessor. Assessors are responsible for marking the assessments submitted by the learner. 5. The moderator. Moderators are responsible for checking if the assessor followed the principles of assessments when conducting their assessment for each POE. 6. The external moderator. The external moderator is responsible for ensuring that all processes of the learnership have been followed. It's helpful to know about the different roles involved in the learnership. It's important to have a support system in place. Absolutely. Having a strong support system is crucial for the success of the learnership. Moving on, let's talk about the course outline. A course outline defines the course, the aim of the course, and the expected learning outcomes. That's great to know. What can we expect to learn during the learnership? The learnership program will run over 12 months, during which the theory and practical workplace application will be covered. During the theory session, each module containing a formative and a summative assessment will need to be completed and handed in as per the rollout plan. During your practicals, you are required to complete and hand in a logbook with your assessments as evidence of your attendance. So, we will have both theory and practical components during the learnership? Yes, that's correct. It's important to have a balance between theory and practical application to ensure a comprehensive learning experience. Moving on, let's talk about the building of a POE. A POE is made up of formative assessments, summative assessments, and practical assessments. Can you explain what these assessments entail? Sure. Formative assessments are classroom-based assessments that can be done individually or in a group in preparation for the summative and work-based practicals. Summative assessments are knowledge-based questions that are required to be completed individually. Practical assessments and logbooks are tasks, assignments, and observations. To successfully complete the learnership, are there rules to adhere to? Yes, definitely. And these rules are crucial for a successful completion of the learnership. You should fill out and complete all learner admin, such as learner details. Type or write out your name, surname, ID number, and signature using a black pen. Avoid the use of pencils and typex. Make sure all group members' names are mentioned and signed for. Validate and provide authentic, reliable, and current assessments. Submit formative assessments, summative assessments, and logbooks together. Adhere to submission deadlines. How are the POEs assessed? The assessments of portfolios are done at three levels. Internal assessment, this is conducted by an assessor to determine if a learner is competent or not yet competent. If not yet competent, remediation will be required. Internal verification, this is conducted by an internal moderator, and files can still come back for remediation if not assessed as per the assessment principles. 
External verification, this is endorsed and conducted by an external moderator of the relevant CETA, the Sector Education and Training Authority. If endorsed, relevant CETA certificates will be sent out to be consult. Can you share what's in it for us as learners? What are some benefits of this learnership program? Sure, the learnership program offers several benefits, including skills development, in a country with high unemployment rates, our learnerships help to sharpen our skills, making us more employable to prospective employers. Knowledge acquisition, the knowledge gained during the learnership hones our reasoning and problem-solving skills, which can be applied beyond the learnership in our personal lives and workplaces. Qualification, attaining tertiary education in South Africa can be challenging, but learnerships provide an opportunity to access education and training while working. These benefits are invaluable and can greatly impact your future prospects. Now, let's take a moment to meet the team here at our learnership program. Meet Tracy McLennan, our director. Tonya Moons Amy, our client liaison and officer. Candice Chetty, our learning and development manager. Linda Koloza, our learner intervention manager. Vuyo Red Ebe, our IT support and facilitator. Candice Moodley, our office administrator, client liaison and officer. Lastly, before we wrap up, I want to open the floor for any questions.